you're looking for an adventure that combines the outdoor adventure of bicycling and wildlife and nature, you're in the right place. Welcome to Colorado Rail Bike Adventures. Today we're going to take you on an exciting ride to see the beautiful Colorado wilderness and hopefully get to see a little bit of wildlife as well. Welcome back to our midlife crisis, or as we like to call it, our midlife odyssey. The Erie Railroad, established in 1832, was a major American railroad that connected New York City with Lake Erie. They don't know what the lightning's gonna be like, so they said maybe 10 minutes or so, but we got our bands. We will be crossing a main road today. Um, Tyler will get out and flag traffic. The route is 2.1 miles down, 2.1 miles back up. One amazing thing about lefties is it doesn't seem that they know their rights from their lefts. The brake's on the left, they say. He said the left bike is the brake. Okay, so that's the right side. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shut up. Need to check seatbelts. Yes. Absolutely. Oh my God. So we are moving. We're off. <laughs> <laughs> you might be asking yourself, what is a rail bike? A rail bike is a specially designed bicycle that allows you to ride on railroad tracks. It's equipped with both pedals and a stable frame that fits snugly on the rails, allowing you to pedal along disused or scenic rail lines with ease. So one of the highlights of riding a rail bike is being able to see all of the natural beauty that Colorado has to offer that you're not gonna normally see right off the side of the road. Hey, darling. We could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Before you set off on your rail bike adventure, here's a couple of quick tips. One, make sure you dress appropriately and wear comfortable shoes. You will need closed toe shoes. Number two, stay hydrated. If you don't bring water with you, there is a little snack stand when you first arrive where you can purchase some prior to going on the rail bike. Number three, book in advance. There are only a certain amount of slots that are available. Number four, bring your camera. There is so much to see here, so many different views. And last but not least, don't forget to have fun. Now we only get one life, I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. <laughs> this is awesome. I love this so much. So whoever rides on the left side of the rail car is gonna be the person who's in control of the brakes. It's a very standard style brake that you would find on a bicycle. You just give it a light little pull, it engages the brakes, let off, it releases. I'm pedaling, I'm pedaling, we can do it. I don't know, or but it, it was. Oh my it had gosh. a very strong it was smell. So fragrant. Now we're trying to pedal to keep up with the group. <laughs> go, 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 go. I always wondered what this would be like. I don't know why that is so much fun. It just brings out the little kid in you. So we made it to the halfway point. Time for a break. So the halfway point was at a park. We got about 10 minutes of eerie history, and now we are turned around and heading back to the station. Just keep swimming, what do we do? We swim, swim, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Choo choo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think one of the most fun parts about this is you don't have to steer all you have to do is pay attention, make sure you don't run into the car in front of you, and <laughs> you're good. Which we almost messed up, too. <laughs> oh, you're going to tell on us like I that? I am. Okay. I am. All right. Oh, brake. I, I'm in charge of the brakes, and yeah, I almost ran us into somebody, so <laughs> that is the honest truth. But the great part is it is incredibly relaxing. It is very smooth. You can hear the rail car just sliding over all the overgrown brush. Yeah, cue the cactus sound. 
like it's gonna be late by the time we get back because we're two and a half hours away. So we need to think about dinner. Craig's like, let's find a Waffle House. Shit, y'all rolling! Y'all rolling! Like, let's find a Waffle House. <laughs> and be cheap but classy. Cheap but classy. Craig, <laughs> in the future, remember to put in cheap but classy in captions. <laughs> Feel the burn. <laughs> Getting a little bit winded. Won't be a whole lot of commentary after this. We did it! <laughs> oh, we're getting back to this station. The last 15, 20 minutes, it's gonna whoop you pretty good if you're a party of two. Party of four, you'll be better off. Choo choo! That was so incredible. You guys, if you've never been on a rail car before or know anything about it, like I didn't. and I knew absolutely nothing about a rail car and now I just absolutely love it. So we're gonna try to make it a point in any new place that we go to see if they have one. Yeah, they were telling us that a uh, couple of other places here, um, what was it, California? There were places in California. Um, I, didn't, I don't remember, I think Montana was one of them. Um, but I guess there's quite a few states where there's an even more impressive and scenic rail cars out there that they're recommending. So we're going to take their advice because we had such a great time and make it part of our travel experiences. But until then, we hope you all enjoyed the adventure. If you would like to see more adventures like this or you would like us to go back on the road international, we really kind of need your help. You guys give us a comment down below. Please do not forget to subscribe and like us because we like you very much. <laughs> Thank you guys for Thanks. watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. What do you do after a good workout? Yeah, ice cream. <laughs> okay, so a little side note. There's so many grasshoppers here. You guys watch this. <laughs> I just love it. Y'all can hear me, right? Zuma Craig's nose. Not Craig, it's Craig. <laughs> Be wife. Just get Happy outside. Husband. Enjoy yourself. Have a great time. It was so. What? <laughs> what did you say?